Welcome everybody to my art room, Carol's art room. Today's video, I'm going to do a bloom with my new cell activator, which I've been working on. And uh, it's the same as I did in the last videos with the uh, WD-40. Uh, I just thinned it down a little bit more and um, see how it works. I think it'll work awesome. So I'll come around and see what I'm doing. Welcome everyone to Carol's Art Room. I'm doing another video today um, with my WD-40 cell activator that I really like, really like. So this is my white house paint. It's a beauty tone eggshell. So the first color that I'm putting down is Sapphire by Deco Art. I want to make sure it's not too thick. Just needs, I think it just needs a tinge of water. And I also have Amsterdam Silver. And I have Grey Lavender Pigment Pearl X. And Twinkle, this little piggy. And Ultramarine Blue. Um... Ultramarine Blue is by uh, Liquitex Basics. This color is very pretty. Whoa, no, I didn't mean to do that. Just bury it. Okay. This is silver by Amsterdam. some more of this. This one is Pearl X Gray Lavender. That's really pretty, see that?
one is Twinkle by this little piggy. I think it has like purpley and green tinges to it. It feels a bit thick. I can add a tinge of water. These pigments mix up really nice. And now I have the ultramarine blue. Just gonna check the consistency. Let's get a bit more water. So the cell activator, I thinned it down a little bit more. I think the last time it was a little bit on the thicker side, so it worked good. It just didn't seem to blow out as easily. Still had good results though. It's a good alternative to using Australian Floetrol. I mean, it doesn't smell like that Minwax wood conditioner, which I don't like. And it's not toxic when you breathe it in. I know you're not supposed to torch this, but... Just lightly. All right, so now my CA, I'm gonna use my little mini blower. I forgot to turn on my little light that I have. Oops, why isn't it working? There. Okay. Oh. oh, I didn't want that white spot. Oh. Well, you really gotta have your technique for blowing down Italian. Yeah. Oh, everything's great except for that. Darn. It's always one of those, though, in it, usually. That is so beautiful.
much better that it's thinner. I'll hold it up for you. Just letting the middle come back. I'll just wait. And I still wanted to blow it out a little more. Maybe I can use my straw. that is wow well, you can't beat those results look at that and I'm telling you it dries gorgeous this was a little sample one that I did a little test I like to do a little test before I do my big blooms it worked great the middle's coming back good centered enough. Yeah, it's pretty good. I still got to learn to blow them out farther so that I don't have so much weight to tilt off. Okay, I'm going to spin now.
almost there. Get some more paint to the top here. And then it won't splash me. Get this off. Wow, it's gorgeous. This way, but good except for this. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Whoa. I'm going to leave those little white spots. There's no big deal. Okay, I think I've spun it enough. Isn't that amazing? Awesome. Got a couple of colors in each. Look at that blue and purple together and some of the twinkle coming through. Oh, it's going to dry so nice. It's going to be beautiful. It is beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. All right, well, that's it. So give it a try, a couple of drops of WD-40. I'll show you what it is. Water-resistant silicone. So you just spray this in a cup. I'll show you what I did. Where is it? I had it somewhere. So I've sprayed some in this little cup. There it's in there, so and then you can just take your drops out. You can use those little pipettes or a little dropper. I think I'm gonna put it in a little dropper bottle, which I have here somewhere. Something like this, you can put it in. I am gonna do that. You get these, these I think I got this at the dollar store. And there you go, you're all set. And some uh 
So one part paint to three parts Floetrol, regular Floetrol, and about four drops of, well, it depends the size. So I used, so the, this is like, I used like a little teaspoon. So say one, one teaspoon of paint, three teaspoons of Floetrol, and three or four drops of the WD-40 and give it a good stir. And if it's too thick, which it shouldn't be, this is pretty good. I just added a little bit of water, maybe a couple of drops of water just to thin it down a bit. And there you go, and you have it. So uh, come back to my art room and uh, we'll do some more of these amazing blooms. Oh, colors are pretty. I've never done the blue, ultramarine blue. I haven't used for a while. It's gorgeous. Have a good day and uh, see you in the next video. Dried result will be at the end. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. It's my dried blue on a tile. It dried really good. Got a nice shine. I can see that. There. It does not feel greasy at all. I like it. Have a good day, everybody. Come back to Carol's art room. Bye-bye.